lot of people have been asking me, how do you beat the AI on face-offs? This is going to be directly related to HUT challenges because they asked you to beat the AI, win by a certain number of face-offs, or keep a certain face-off percentage. But however, one or two of these tips will also affect AI face-offs in general. So this is going to directly relate to the St. Louis Blues Classic NHL Challenge where you have to win three more face-offs than your opponent on pro difficulty. It's not the highest difficulty, but you are playing an NHL team. One of the first things that you have to know is uh, the AI tends to cheat a little bit. They won't follow the same logic as other players. Even though you counter them, they may still win the face-offs even if their players are lower than yours. However, I was able to win six in a row against them, so I must have been doing something right. But before we get into what I did, you need to start by having a team that is good at taking face-offs. Obviously, if you're playing like versus, you're playing offline, be a pro, whatever the case may be, you're less in control of that. But in Hockey Ultimate Team, you can buy whatever players you need. The players the highest face-off rate, and they don't even have to be good at anything else. You just want them to win face-offs. So try to get cards around 90 overall or higher. I go over some of the best cards that you can nab for the cheapest price in my Best Budget Centers video in Angel 20. But let's say it's been a while since I uploaded a video for that series. You can just go through some of these cards, whether it's the Icon cards or Classic NHL, any kind of event kind of cards, and look to see who's got a good face-off rating. Mike Pekka is always a great choice, 83 overall, 98 in face-offs, but he is already in that video. Whereas if I go over to the Classic NHL cards, these cards I haven't really looked at yet to add on to the video, we can find some more hidden beauties. 80 overall, Mario Huber, 89 face-offs. He doesn't go for a whole lot, 1,000 coins. He could be someone you could add to your squad real quick just for the challenge. Another cheap stud could be this Alexander Barda card, 91 face-offs. He's just an 80 overall. Despite what this price says, he's pretty cheap. That dude's just overpricing him way too much because we'll find some more cards here, and you can see just how cheap he is. There, we found him, not lying. So yeah, there are cards like this that will be released throughout the year. So keep an eye out on them to add to your squad for these hut challenges. So now, what did I do to win all those face-offs when I have a good team? Well, I start with a simple backhand, and then when I win the face-off, I'm going to throw it out. You can do this at any time. It could be like the third period if you already completed all of your other challenges, and then you can just focus on this face-off one. Or you can solely focus on the face-off one. You don't have to get all three stars in one game for this challenge. The second time I go up against the AI, I'm gonna do a backhand stick lift. When I win the faceoff, I do the exact same thing. I throw it out. So four seconds have gone by and two faceoffs have already happened. Make sure, however, that when you throw it out, you're in the neutral zone to do so. The third faceoff, I go back to the backhand. And I'm just gonna keep repeating the cycle. Backhand, backhand stick lift, backhand, backhand stick lift, backhand, backhand stick lift, and that's how I won six faceoffs in a row. But yeah, back to the whole uh, wait until you're in the neutral zone before you get rid of the puck. If you do it from your defensive zone, there's a chance that it could be a penalty because it's going to go over the glass. The way that you throw it out of your own zone is you hold down RB or R1 and then you push up on the right stick. With the left stick, you aim where you want to throw it out. So in this case, I've been aiming it to the right, right into the audience. If you don't know how to do the backhand or the backhand stick lift face-off move, I'm going to cover that in another video. But the basic idea is you start with the right stick on your backhand. In this case, it's to my left. And then when the ref moves, when he's dropping the puck, you curl the right stick downward. For the backhand stick lift, what you're going to do is you're going to start on your backhand again, in this case, to the left. But instead of pushing it downward, you're going to push it upward when the ref starts to drop the puck. I'll go over all of the face-off moves, the counters, and how to beat actual players on the face-offs in another video. But for now, I think that is enough for you guys to beat the AIs off the face-off. So now the challenge itself, let's say you get to a good point where you've won more face-offs than the opponent, but you don't want to keep taking face-offs. I happen to have also gotten a good cushion on the goal lead. I needed to win by two goals. I have three goals. So now I'm just going to sit behind my net and I'm just going to rag the puck. I'm just going to keep skating backwards around the net and just stop them from getting the puck. Don't do this in online gameplay. Everyone's going to hate you. You're going to get rage messages all the time. 
It's unsportsmanlike, and you can get banned from doing it in tournament play. However, against the AIs, AIs aren't going to care. Do whatever you want. I'm sure they've seen worse, so just do what you can to hold on to the lead, hold on to the face-off wins, the win percentage, or more face-off wins than your opponent, and just try to make the game end without any more face-offs happening. So those are the tips that I can give you guys on how to beat the AI on face-offs. Let me know if you need any more help on anything related to NHL 20, and I would be happy to help. If you have any other tips regarding beating AI on face-offs, let us know in the comments below, and you could be the next hut hero old news that's last year nhl 19 but you could be the hometown hero because that's this year's news